talking with the experts. In episode 352 with Jason Elliott, Jason discusses why your sleep routine is essential to your business. Yeah. And that's, that's a big and deal, you know, like, yeah, that's a big deal. A lot of people, you know, a lot of people are like that. Um, you know, when we, when I first started this, I thought, you know, this is a small number of people that, that have this problem. Like, <laughs> and then I started talking to people and it's like, okay, everybody's nodding their head and saying, yeah, me too. <laughs> and and no, no joke. I think, you know, it could be 60, 70% of the population actually has significant issues um, due to temperature while they're sleeping. And, um, and, you know, sweating um, during sleep, that's a particularly um, disruptive one because it causes the stress of being uncomfortable the whole night. So like you're subconsciously aware that you're not comfortable. So not only is it, you know, causes you to toss and turn and roll around and wake up sometimes, you just don't get back into a deep sleep because you're in a stressed position. Like sleep is about relaxing and letting go of the things that are worrying you in the day. And if you're, if you're sweaty, you're uncomfortable, it's very, very difficult to, to get rid of that feeling of, of tension. Right? Welcome to Talking with the Experts. This is where we discuss great ideas to take your business to the next level. How do we know these ideas work? Well, it's because we're talking with business owners who are using these ideas. Business owners who have years of experience and expertise. All things business, by business owners, for business owners. And now, here is your host, Rose Davidson. Hello, and welcome to Talking with the Experts. I'm your host, Rose Davidson, from rosedavidson.com. Today, it's my very great pleasure to introduce you to Jason Elliott from Perfectly Snug. And we're going to be discussing why a sleep routine is really essential for business. And for years, Jason's poor sleep affected his work and his personal life, as it does all of us. Jason set out to change all that, and today he changes the lives of many. He will discuss why your sleep routine and sleep temperature can impact your business and work and how to improve it. A little bit about Jason. He is the co-founder and president of Perfectly Snug, the sleep solution company behind the popular dual climate controlled smart topper and app. The smart topper keeps the user and their partner at an ideal temperature all night, resulting in a deep, restful sleep. Um, the integrated technology senses body temperature and auto adjusts the amount of cooling or warming to ensure that each person stays comfortable. Welcome, Jason. What an absolutely innovative product. I think I might have to get that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you for having me. It's uh, it's great to talk to you. And yeah, it is a it is a game changer of a product. It really is. Yeah. Absolutely. So, how did you get started? I mean, you 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 know, in your in the intro, I said that you know you had trouble sleeping, and a lot of us do. So, how did you come up with the product, and and why perfectly snug? Right. Yeah. So, I mean, it really all came. It came. It all started with my poor sleep. And for years and years, I slept bad. And as I got older, it got worse. And, uh, and so I was desperate for a solution. And at the same time, a friend of mine, Marty Furs, who's the co-founder of the company, um, he's, he and I have been friends for years. And he had uh, been continually saying, hey, Jason, you should, you should stop working and start a company. And, uh, and he had done that a couple of times in the past and, and had some good fun doing it. And uh, so... So eventually, you know, we, we started doing something more active and looking for a, an idea uh, to start a company with. We're both engineers, both technical people, um, have some business background as well as um, you know, technical product development and manufacturing and, and all that stuff. So we had, you know, pretty good skill set between the two of us. And uh, but what we didn't have was an idea. <laughs> and uh, and so we had many, you know, business plans. We thumbed around and. And then uh, one night, I, we were family friends, and we were, we were putting our, our kids to bed. We were visiting their, their home, putting the kids to bed. And I said to Marty, you know, what I really need is a thermally controlled bed. And he looked at me, and he said, that's a great idea. And so that, that's kind of where it started. And it was like, oh, OK, well, that, that, looks, that is a great idea. And so a couple months of putting together some business plan numbers and then quit my job and, and took the big risk um, and plunged into it. And, 
started you know, developing the technology. So it was a, about a year and a half to two years of, of technical development. You know, started in my basement and uh, and you know, building prototypes and doing all kinds of testing. Um, yeah, and, I, and actually, that's probably maybe one of the more interesting parts is is when I finally did discover that it was temperature that was really causing me grief. Um, and so what I did was I ended up putting temperature sensors in my bed <laughs> and in my wife, wife's side of the bed, my side of the bed, and I had a laptop hooked up, you know, logging data and, and examining my sleep patterns for, for a few months to see, you know, exactly what was going on. And what I found was that my temperature was climbing through the night and the temperature underneath my body, like where it touches the mattress and the temperature would climb, you know, up to almost my core temperature, like it was getting up into the 37 and a half degrees Celsius. You know, that's really hot. <laughs> and, and then every half hour, I would you know, get so uncomfortable with that, I'd roll over looking for a cold spot. And then I'd roll and roll and roll and roll. And I was not getting any deep sleep, basically interrupted sleep all night. And uh, so with the realization that, boy, that was a big deal, some of the early prototypes, just having basic cooling underneath my body, all of a sudden I was getting like two hours of sleep at a time, total game changer, felt completely different, felt rested. You know, I'd be 10 hours in bed before we had a, a topper trying to get like adequate sleep, waking up completely unrested after the snug topper, you know, I'm in bed for eight hours a night, maybe seven, even some nights these days, seven hours a night. And I still feel quite, quite good, you know, even with shorter hours. So that's been a big change for us, for me. So what's personally. the difference between your mattress topper and a, a cooling mat? <laughs> yeah, um, there is a lot of products on the market that, that are trying to solve this problem. And, um, and, you know, like almost every mattress company has a, some sort of something you put on the bed, cooling sheets, cooling mattress, cooling, cooling something. And it's because people are desperate for a solution because they're starting to realize that that heat in bed is causing them to not sleep well. And so a cooling mat um, typically is a material solution. So it's like a, a, a foam that has some special properties. Um, and so those special properties are how much energy it can absorb and hold. And so when you touch it at first, it's kind of like touching metal. It's like, oh, this feels cold. And then, uh, but the problem with it is, is once it's hot, it's really hot. Like it, it soaks up the heat and it holds on to that heat. And uh, it's kind of the gift that keeps getting giving later in the night. Okay. So at like two o'clock, you wake up so hot and then it takes forever for your bed to heat, cool down. Um, and so really not a very effective solution, but you know, a lot of people have spent money on those things and, and been disappointed, yeah. Mm. Is it available globally or just in Canada? Uh, no, we, we sell North America primarily. So, um, you know, we market to North America actively. Um, we have sold some units to people globally um, who, who kind of are super desperate for a solution. So, you know, they, you know, like we ha we've had a few in Asia um, who have been Japan, Thailand, um, Thailand, Taiwan, you know, that, uh, you know, they're they're happy to spend a huge amount of money to ship it to themselves <laughs> um, because because they they need to sleep and there's they need a solution and we've had the same actually from Australia where you know uh, we've had a number of, of people contact us really wanting us to to provide them a product and 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 some have even you know the shipping is expensive to Australia so mm -hmm. yeah shipping's always a bit of a killer isn't it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, getting on to, you know, why, I mean, we all know that sleep is important, um, you know, for your day-to-day -day life, but, you know, how can, affect, how can sleep or lack of affect your business? Oh, yeah, no, it's a big deal because I think um, with business comes some stress and, um, and with stress, you need a, a clear mind. Uh, you know, you don't want to be kind of tossed to and fro from thought to thought and direction to direction. That's, that's what bad leadership's made of. And, um, and so the human mind is much more prone to uh, fear, anxiety, um, mood changes, um, lack of ability to focus, uh, you know, all these kind of symptoms of call it bad thought. Um, you know, it's with a lack of sleep, those things are amplified a lot. It is much easier to handle stress uh, when you're well rested and you have your faculties of thought available to you. Um, so, 
the routine of good sleep, you know, like going to bed at the same time, waking up at the same time, having a routine, you know, is very important to, for the quality of sleep. Um, but also, you know, when you get into stressful situations and you start waking up because you're thinking about stuff and that kind of thing, um, a lot of times you don't wake up necessarily because you're thinking about something, but because something disturbs you. And then once you're awake, bang, all those thoughts start piling into your head. And so, you know, and one of those disturbances, very, very common is that you get too hot or you get too cold um, and you're tossing and turning, you wake up, your brain, this, this, had, this was my problem was my brain would switch on then. And then there's no turning it back off, you know, two hours, three hours later, I'm trying to get back to sleep, but can't do oh, it. Oh, yes. Don't we just love those little interruptions during the night when we uh, yeah, can't go back to sleep because, you know, some thought pops into there because you now you're out of you know, the thetis um, part of the sleep and, you know, and then mm -hmm. something pops in your head and you just mull over it and think, no, nah, just go to sleep. <laughs> you can't. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. Tossing and turning and, and you know, uh, and you're right about the heat. My husband's a very hot sleeper and uh, mm -hmm. it's um, sometimes, you know, it, like the bed is soaked on his side of, of the bed. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's a big deal, you know, like, yeah, that's a big deal. A lot of people, you know, a lot of people are like that. Um, you know, when we, when I first started this, I thought, you know, this is a small number of people that, that have this problem. Like, and then I started talking to people and it's like, okay, everybody's nodding their head and saying, yeah, me too. <laughs> and and no, no joke. I think, you know, it could be 60, 70% of the population actually has significant issues um, due to temperature while they're sleeping. And, um, and, you know, sweating um, during sleep, that's a particularly um, disruptive one because it causes the stress of being uncomfortable the whole night. So like you're subconsciously aware that you're not comfortable. So not only is it, you know, it causes you to toss and turn and roll around and wake up sometimes, you just don't get back into a deep sleep because you're in a stressed position. Like sleep is about relaxing and letting go of the things that are worrying you in the day. And if you're, if you're sweaty, you're uncomfortable, it's very, very difficult to, to get rid of that feeling of, of tension, right? Mm. Yeah. Is it good for women with menopause or premenopausal? Very, very good. Um, some of our happiest customers are, um, are suffering from hot flashes. And it really is, uh, some, some women have it, a very bad condition you know, where where their sleep is disturbed hourly by a hot flash. And, and one of the triggers um, for hot flashes is, is getting overheated. Like if you, you are much less likely to have a hot flash um, if you're cold, it kind of makes sense, right? Like you don't yeah. boil over if you're, if you're not close to boiling. And, and so keeping cool you know, during the day, people develop techniques for that. But when you're asleep, what do you do? Like you don't have your, you're not aware of what's going on. You're not aware that you're heating up. You just wake up and you're too hot and, and there's not much you can do. And then in order to cool down, you know, now you're sweaty, you're changing pajamas, changing bedding, you're um, getting out of bed, you know, like you're wide awake. And, and, and that, if that's happening hourly, it, it like some of the people that we've had the privilege of helping, you know, they're, they're desperate to be able to sleep. And, um, and so this is, this has been a game changer for them. Like it's really changed, um, their lives because they're, they don't sweat in bed anymore. So I have yet to have someone tell me that they got our product and they used to sweat and then they still sweat with the product. <laughs> okay. like, it, like as far as, you know, sweating at night, because, because the product that has airflow, it's based on airflow, you know, like it, it's got fresh air coming into the bed all the time. It even if you do sweat a bit, like not only will it keep you cool and keep you from sweating, it, it evaporates that sweat if you do get sweat, sweaty. And so you don't, you don't have this problem anymore. So it's comfortable, it's very comfortable. You don't have that stress associated with, oh, I'm uncomfortable and wet and clammy and blah. you know, so it's a big deal. So, and maybe back to the menopause um, part, the, um, the the product actually senses your body temperature while you're sleeping and it, and it adjusts the heating and cooling um, while you're you know not aware obviously you're sleeping um, but if you do have a hot flash um, the 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 bed will detect that it, it's it's a little slower detection than like hot flashes start real quick 
and the sensation you know is very quick to the person um when it actually it takes a while for it to get to the skin and to heat up the bed but the bed does respond even when you're not aware um and it will ramp up the airflow and it will cool your body um and and basically suppress those hot flashes if they do happen and and I've had um, customers tell me that not only do they have a lot less hot flashes, some people say they're gone at night. Um, some, some people say they have a lot less. And, and some people say that even when they do have one, it's not as severe. So they're able to, they're not getting sweaty, they're not getting uncomfortable at the same level, and they're able to get back to sleep fairly quickly. So it's, it's a pretty big benefit um, for, that, for that scenario of life, yeah. Yeah, and as you explain, you know, being a business owner and getting that restful sleep without, you know, having to worry about waking up all hot and sweaty or freezing cold or or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be, because, you know, we all sleep differently and, you know, kicking the covers off because you can't sleep or hogging the bed covers because, you know, you're freezing. Mm -hmm. It's a great, uh, a great tool, I think, that uh, you should market that in Australia. <laughs> we do plan on it actually yeah no for sure it's uh um it's it's on our radar it's it's just a little far across the ocean right now for us but uh it's it's in the plans um Excellent. yeah the, the, the another thing you taught touched on there you, you said you know kicking off the sheets or kicking off the blankets and and the other impact that people have in their lives that's fairly significant from these issues is relational trouble right so um you end up with um one one person you know wants it cold one person wants it hot and you end up with this tension you get um you know a high percentage of the society fights over the thermostat wants the window open the other person doesn't want the window open you, you go down the list all the different things that you do pile of blankets in the middle of the bed you can't you know um and it does cause um relational challenges and you know when you're a business owner and running a business having home stress on top of lack of sleep is uh you know that's that's even you, you can't you can't do that like you, you don't you want to if you're doing something it, like an entrepreneur starting a business you want to have your life kind of you know not chaotic you want to go home life's not crazy work work will be crazy guaranteed <laughs> and so so you you know this this is also a big impact um is that if you can sleep well and sleep well with your spouse then it helps the relationship. You're not grumpy with them. You're not, you know, have this kind of underlying conflict of the, the environment that you're sleeping in. <laughs> um, it, it, it is another big deal. So. Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm sure. And you're right. You know, personal um, stress is not good for business because you, even though they say, leave it at the door, it's a bit hard if you've not had any sleep and, the reason that you haven't had any sleep is because your partner's been hogging the bed or the blankets. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Or turned up the thermostat without you knowing about it. You can't sleep all night. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Jason, it sounds like it's a, a, a game changer for, for everybody. And uh, so where can people find it if they want to find out more information? Yeah, we, we sell um, the product through our website, which is um, perfectlysnug.com. Um, and that's the, the best place to go to find, you know, information. And on there, there's a contact form. I'm, I love talking to people and, um, you know, helping them with their sleep. So, uh, you know, I've had, you know, all kinds of people that I've talked to at this point, you know, about their sleep patterns and their sleep issues. And, you know, will this product help me or not? Um, you know, those kind of conversations. Um, yeah. So there's a contact form on the website. You can fill that out and, and you can, I, I will actually talk to you <laughs> if, you, if you want to do that. So excellent. And I notice you're on Facebook and on Instagram as well. So go and check out his Instagram page at uh, at Perfectly Snug, and he'll there'll be heaps of photos on there for you to have a look at. Jason, mm -hmm. it's been a pleasure. Have you got anything yeah. you, you'd like to share with our guests, our guests audience, and viewers and listeners? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, maybe just parting comment that I think sleep is a bigger deal than people think it is. And, um, and it is really important to get good sleep and consistent good sleep. So, you know, if you are in a position of stress, starting a business, you know, getting your sleep in order is, uh, 
is well worth it. It'll help. It'll make everything so much easier. Absolutely. Jason, thank you so much for your time today. It's been a pleasure learning about this innovative product. I love it. <laughs> great, great. Well, thank you for having me. You've been listening to Talking with the Experts, hosted by Rose Davidson. Make sure you have a look at our back catalogue over at talkingwiththeexperts.com. And be sure to subscribe to our podcast so you don't miss out on any episode. We look forward to your company next time. Talking with the experts.